Hi guys. I'm going to go over to um, the apartment complex over here uh, near my pharmacy where I pick up my medicine. Just ran some errands and so it's easy to go get it and see if there's anything there. So thanks for coming along with me and I'll see you in a couple minutes. It'll be momentarily for you, but for me, it'll be about five minutes. So here we are, the first dumpster. Let's head in. <clears throat> I'll try to move really slow. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. They've opened these up. This is so weird. It's like, okay. And just walk right in. Let's see what they got, if anything. This one usually doesn't have much in the way of stuff. I don't know if you can see in here. Oh my gosh. I hate that when people do that. <sighs> Look at that. Wasted food. Like they're getting it for free, but they're not using it. Look at there's more. There's more. A humongous zucchini. Oh my gosh. But I'm not going to take it because it could be nasty. Let's see anything in there. I can. If I can get that can. If not, that's no loss. Okay, yeah, got it. What's in here? Anything? I can't see. It's hard to see. Oh, maybe, maybe. That just frustrates me. Anyway, sorry, you can't see it either. Sometimes they have stuff in the back here. Somebody's dropped off something. Oh, here's the obligatory bottle cap. What's this? Nothing. I'll throw it in the dumpster though. to the other one. I always like coming to this apartment complex because they got a really pretty little lake here or pond or whatever you want to call it. But this dumpster is usually a little better in the terms of stuff in it most of the time. This is where people drop off their appliances and whatnot. We'll see. Sundays are better. This is Saturday. Let's check. Is that wire? A little bit of wire. Bobby pin. So, what's in here? What do we got? Anything? I know I don't have my gloves. I forgot them. Can't see anything in here. This is problems of being vertically challenged. I know some of the other ladies have said they are. Oh look, here's a banana box and here's some metal. More metal. It probably has a cord with it. Oh, no, I don't know. This had a whole bunch of crap in here, like washers and stuff. And no longer. Oh well. A Christmas tree. Still finding Christmas trees. Wow. Ugh. Good heavens. It's all that. All right. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff. This is really cool. Okay. Well, not so much stuff. It's tons. 
hydraulic thing from the van, probably. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get my, um, what you call it, to get, um, those bins back there. Let me take this stuff while I'm at it. Take it back to the car. Hope you all doing good today. I'm doing pretty good. Feeling good this morning. Despite my lack of sleep. Got whole bunch of aluminum taken to my yard got 15 bucks for it let me see i gotta unlock this car it drives me nuts it's like every time vandal you know what i'm talking about it locks itself when i'm driving so i mean i guess it's a good safety feature feature not percher but it drives me crazy because i try to get into my back and i can't Oh, you know what? That looks like a yard sale find or something. It has a tag on it. Or a yard sale fail. Alright. Oh. Duh. Okay, taking you along with me. I forgot my little thing again. What a ding dong. Okay. I know, this is not the best of hooks or whatever. Actually, you know what? I might use this hook. This is like Mike Scavenger's hook, sort of. It's not a paint pole, but it's a paint roller. Paint pole. Ugh, I don't know what I'm talking about. It doesn't have the pointy thing you can stab things with, but it's pretty good. Alright, let's get this stuff. Oh my gosh, come here. Don't be going farther away. And probably not showing much. Very much, pretty much. That's not metal, that's plastic. But the other tub inside of it is metal. So here we come. Ta da! Uh, dun dun dun! Easter candy and beans. Peas. Peas, peas, beans. Oats, peas, and barley grow. Anybody know that old song? Okay, I made a lot of noise. Anybody know that old song? Where oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Yeah, it's a cute little thing. Oh, look at that. It's kind of old, though. I'm going to take this. It's a good tub. Let me see if I can't reach that other one. Oh, it's pretty dirty. I don't think I'm going to get those poles. Not very easy to get those kinds of things, especially one-handed. It's funny, somebody actually... Oh took the mop head off of it. That's really weird. Okay, I'm going to take this stuff back to the car. off because I need two hands. Christmas tree decorations, anybody? Oh, look at this. Village stuff. Candle things. Hmm. All right. Taking that. Oops. Careful. Don't break it. TV tray. Not much weight in that. I'm gonna take those chairs too. But I'm gonna take this back to the car. These little doodads. 
Yeah, this is a pretty good stop here. So peaceful here. I think the people that live here must like it. Listen to the birds. Spring is in full swing here in North Carolina. Oh, let me forget my pole. <laughs> recliner. It's been sitting here. I don't know why they didn't take that when they took everything else. Yeah, there was a washer and a stove and a um, refrigerator it was pretty cool but I couldn't get here in time I was on vacation and then uh, rained and uh, there was too much stuff I couldn't get here oh well Oh, another ubiquitous find there, um, vandal vlogs, <laughs> trolley or shopping cart or buggy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that I love about, oh, of course. One of the things I love about uh, scrapping is that a year ago I was about disabled and wasn't able to do much. Um, I was going to the neurologist and they were telling me I had severe neuropathy and there was nothing they could do about it. And I was never going to get any strength back unless I did all this PT and everything. Well, look at me. Scrapping has made me stronger. And I got ankle braces and I'm walking better, staying upright. Still having issues, but it's not as bad as it was. Anyway, I'm just going to stand here for a second. Oh, there's another bottle cap. This one's Corona... Trim familiar. Hmm. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, look at that goose. Hello, goosey. Hi, goosey goose. Look at that. What a beautiful place. I doubt people. Whoa. Yeah, see? Careful. I want to go sliding into that mud. I'm just wondering if you could mudlark along here. It's another one of my hobbies that I like to go out and search for interesting things. There's a light bulb. Don't want glass breaking, especially where children live. Hmm, there's a can down there. You think I can go get it? I don't know. I have a cane in my um what you call it? Car. There's a piece of metal. Can I get it out? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Alright. I just don't want to fall. Let's see if I can get down here without falling into the water. Water's pretty clear. It's a muddy bottom. Let's get this can. Unsightly can. Okay, let's see if I can get back up the hill without 
too much trouble put this metal in my pocket so I have a way to balance. Oh, look at the wildflowers. Love wildflowers. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. I'm doing pretty good. See? These ankle braces are a miracle to me. Alright. Well, I think it's time to get on home. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my dumpster journey. Oh, look at it. Blue glass. It's kind of sharp, but I might take it anyway because I don't like glass to be around where children live. Broken glass anyway. So again, oh here's another bottle cap. I know. You're like, what? Take bottle caps? Why are you picking bottle caps? My son collects them for one. And for two, I think they're pretty cool. And they go in the little small metal container and make weight after a while. One place, one apartment building, I found probably 200 bottle caps one day. It was crazy. So I cleaned up their area for certain. Oh, there's Goosey. Say bye, Goosey. Bye-bye. Again, thanks for coming along with my dumpster journey. And remember to like, that's the thumbs up, subscribe. Ooh, there's a turtle. I got distracted again. I wonder if I can get in there. Oh, look at the turtle by the, oh, that is so awesome. Hello, turtle. Neat. Anyway. <laughs> Be sure to like, subscribe if you really are enjoying my stuff, and share it to friends and family. I'll get the hang of this sooner or later and have better videos that come out as we go along. I've been doing scrapping for a year, so I know how to do things. But I'm learning every day. Um, the video thing, it's totally brand new. I mean, I've done videos before with my son and stuff, but I don't really know very much about it. So, all right, take care, guys. And remember to always be kind. You know, you never know what the situation is that that person's going through. The guy at your yard that's harping on you for putting the wrong, I mean, putting mixed aluminum in to different places or whatever, or the guy at your yard that is laughing at you for not being able to back up a trailer. My situation. <laughs> it was funny, though. Your grocer, cashier, anybody, you know, your best friend. You don't know what they're going through. So just be kind to them. With that, I'm going to go home and relax. Take care. There's going to be another video coming out real soon with some fun stuff, some bikes, and who knows what else I'll scrap. But take care, and I'll see you next time I make a video. Cheers from North Carolina. Bye.